In this video, we're going to go over how to reverse the elements in an array. So it doesn't really matter that much the type of the array. This would work with ints or cars or floats, but we'll say int and we'll say int my array is equal to, and we'll set it equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to say that the length of the array is nine. And our algorithm for reversing the elements in the array is going to be to take the first element, swap it with the last element, take the second element, swap it with the second last element, take the third element, swap it with the third last element and on and on until we reach the middle element where we don't have to do anything. Or in the case that the array is say even in terms of the number of elements at that point, we'd actually be done because we'd kind of, we'd reach this five here, we'd swap with six and we'd be done. There'd be no more elements to swap. In the case of a odd numbered array in terms of the, the number of elements, we really don't have to do anything with that middle element because if we were to swap all these values and reverse the array, the middle element would still be five in the reversed array. So what we'll do is we'll make a for loop to carry out that algorithm. And we're gonna say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than the length divided by two, which is gonna give us four in this case, because of the way integer division works in C. And then we're gonna swap the values. Now to swap the values, we need a temporary value. So I'm gonna say int temp is equal to zero. So that way I have some kind of temporary variable to help me swap the, the different values here. So I'm gonna say that temp is equal to my array at i. Then I'm going to say after storing this in a temporary variable, it's now safe to overwrite this. So I'm going to say that my array at I is going to be equal to my array at the length minus I minus one. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to get this element because I is going to be zero. Then the next iteration of the loop, I'm going to get this element because I is going to be one. Then the next iteration loop, I'll get this element because i is going to be two, right? And it'd be like nine minus two minus one would be uh, six. And that would be, you know, that would be the index for this element because you got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So this is going to basically extract the, the element from the right-hand side of the list, taking into account where we are in terms of our incrementing of i, which is essentially indexing and, and taking and, and keeping track of where we are on the left hand side of the list. So after we do that, now we've overwritten this value with the corresponding value on the right hand side of the right hand side of the list, right hand side of the array, I should say. And now we'll take the right hand side value and we'll overwrite that. So we'll say my array at length minus i minus one, and we'll set that equal to temp. And this is just like the classic temp swap where we have a temporary variable that are that's used to help us swap two values. The only difference is we're just sort of using this index i to keep track of, you know, where we are on the left-hand side and then we're swapping it with a corresponding value on the right-hand side according to where we are with i. And so after we do that, that should actually successfully swap the array values such that it's reversed. And now if I want to print out the array, let's say my int, we'll say for int i is equal to 0, i is less than length I plus plus, and we'll print out the array. We'll say print F, we'll say my array at percent D is equal to percent D, and we'll print out, we'll do a new line there, and we'll print out I, and we'll print out my array at I. And that should be, that should print it out. Okay, so let's try compiling this and give it a shot now. So we run it and we see that after doing these, this, these swaps here, we end up with nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And so it appears to be working. Now, one thing we might want to do is put this into a function. So that way we can swap all kinds of different arrays and just use this code again and again. So we can make a function. We'll call it, actually we can have it a, have a void return type because it doesn't really have to return anything. And we'll say void reverse, we'll call it reverse. And we'll say that it takes in an array and the length of the array. So we'll take that as our function declaration there. 
take this down here and we're actually going to reproduce a lot of the, a lot of the same logic here so we'll actually take a lot of this here and just put it down here i'm going to call it array here instead of my array just because it's, it's really not an example at this point it's a function we're going to use again and again and everything else looks okay there's no need for a return here this looks like it's going to work okay and this is an example of, of pass by reference where the array that we pass in and it, as an as an argument it's actually going to be altered in the the calling environment as well because of the way pass by reference and the way that passing arrays works in in c so we've got our our one array here now we can call this my array one i'll make another one here i'll call it my array two and this one maybe we'll make it the other direction we'll say like six six five four three two one we'll make it even number two so it's going to be length six and we'll call the reverse function we'll call reverse with my array one which has length nine and we'll call reverse with my array two which has length six and then we'll we'll output both arrays here so we'll output my array one i'll just copy and paste this kind of print code and we'll put my array two. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just throw in like one extra print uh, printf with a with a new line here just to split things up a bit. Okay, so this should now reverse the the arrays here, and we'll just give this a shot. So compile it. Oh, what did I do wrong? Use of undeclared identifier length. But I thought that I defined length here. So why is it complaining about that? Use of undeclared identifier length. Oh, because I didn't define it here. <laughs> that would help. Because uh, it's not, it doesn't, there is no length up here anymore, right? Um, so I'm going to just hard code it. I'm just going to say nine and six. All right. We'll run this here. Run it here. And I get the reversed first array. And the second array is also reversed as well. And so, you know, now we've got a, a function here that's going to allow us to reverse the elements in an array. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.